Okay. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to do a quick update here. I'm not using the tripod or anything, so it's going to look a little shaky. Uh, just a quick update. As far as I'm concerned, the experiment's a failure. Um, an aeroponic system is supposed to have plants that grow pretty well. The roots are supposed to be very small because the nutrients are supposed to be able to quickly get to the roots. They don't need to be long. And uh, this system has not exhibited any of that uh, behavior. So I'll give you a look at what we have, and then I'm going to shut the system down, and uh, that'll be it for this. Uh, I, I think a uh, for a hobbyist, I think the better s way to go would be a ebb and flow system, um, and I'll I'll tell you why in a second. But here's what we have so far. All right, you can see the one plant is uh, pretty productive. I don't remember which one that is. I think it might be a pea plant. You can check my earlier videos to find out. Um, it looks like this is recently dying. The pea plant. I don't know. This is the pea plant. I don't remember what that is. Uh, but the pea plant's doing pretty decent. But it hasn't really grown. It's just kind of sat there and I don't know. Doesn't hasn't really done anything. And you're supposed to see dramatic growth with aeroponics, and this is definitely not it after the amount of time it's been. I think it's been at least a month. So I'm going to show you the root system. It's developed. And you can see that these roots are pretty big. And there's a big puddle of water down there at the bottom. And when the root hits that, that seems to be uh, where it, it all collects. And you can see right now also that the, um, the mister is not on. It's I let the water run low because it, I, I didn't see any point in continuing this. Uh, but when the mister was running, it uh, eventually, it uh, the mist kind of died down a little bit. And that's something that's normal with these nebulizers because the, the whatever it is, ceramic or Teflon, it gets deposits on it. So it can't vibrate as well, so it doesn't produce as much mist. Which is another reason why I think as a hobbyist, it's not a good solution to do it this way because it's just going to cost more money replacing that thing every time. And it's only been a month. They're supposed to last three months, and I just don't see that happening. Um, so that's pretty much it. I think uh, an ebb flow system would be a lot better because I've noticed that when these, when these rock wool plugs when they dry out, I mean this is an extreme example, but when it dries out, the plant dies. Um, I, I guess because it's, it's not getting enough nutrients, but uh, in a few of the examples, like this one back here, this tall one, I, I don't see how that uh, would have been so because it had the good roots before I took it off of the self-ordering. So, oh well, uh, somebody else can give it a shot and see if they can get it to work.